So this is a patient who is zero positive. Uh, he had a left-sided large pelvic calculus. You can see here. Of course, the uh, HU of the stone is very less. It is somewhere around 300. A radio to set type of stone. And you see in the IVP films here. This is a 20 minute film. Okay. And you see here the lower pole calluses and the rest of the calluses. You see there is no much hydronephrosis. These are difficult systems to puncture. Where to enter? You know. You have to do a very exact bullseye puncture in such cases. So here there is a small calyx, you can see that, that is a dense area when the patient is lying supine, uh, just medial to this calyx, okay. The mid part of the kidney is also drained by another calyx above also. So this is a uh, system where the mid part of the kidney is being drained by separate calyx system, one here and one here. So here one calyx is. So there could be a possibility of a posterior calyx here which is seen here dense. And in the prone film, you can see that area is slightly lighter. That we will see on table. So let us see. So I am just what I will do on RGP. I will look for a calyx just medial to this part, this calyx. So let us see what it will be seen on RGP, and then we will decide. IVP, we have seen this calyx, right? Yes, sir. And we found that the posterior calyx is here, here on IVP, right? But we are not seeing it clearly now. Now let's inject some air there. Here, here I am looking for that. Exactly. Exactly. Now you see, see guys, here you see this dot. See that? Uh, same thing I am doing 30 to understand it. Like you see that. See that white dot. See? See that white dot? It's like a dot sign. See? Beautifully you can see the calyx. So I am doing again see, zero. It is coming laterally. So a calyx which is coming medially on moving the flora from 0 to 30 gives your posterior calyx. It looks as if it is bang onto the pelvis. Come on. Now see this. See that calyx, right? I am exactly keeping my bullseye there, right? Can you stop respiration for a minute? Because it's a difficult puncture. I am telling my anesthetist to just stop the respiration for a minute so that I can do a perfect puncture there, right? Ready? So I am going there. Let's see. Sometimes lift comes in this area. See, and just guiding it, right? See, guiding it. See, I'm guiding. We need a perfect puncture in this area. Otherwise, it will cause late of puncture. I'm going there. Now see the depth. Now let us see the depth there. See, see that bang on calyx. So I have to go a little bit inside. You know, if I go a little bit inside into that, I'm inside. Thirty please. The floral is doing again that. Now you see. Again, see that zero light in it, right? So I'm just going there. Yeah, yeah, now I have gone through that calyx. See that? I'm seeing going, going to that. See that? See that? See that in the calyx? You're exactly there, right? Maybe I can go a little bit more. Again, that means for confidence, I'm doing that. So that we should not do a mistake there. Come on, go out. You're bang on to that. Yeah, now I am inside. See, I have to pass the needle a little bit inside. Now, see, the stone is moving. Agree? Okay? I am taking it. We would be inside. There is no doubt about it. Come on, let's see there again. Once again, see how to enter into the kidney. See, okay. let me define it. See, exactly in that calyx, you are there. It is going there. Now, see, I will keep that. Okay, let's see. Here, here, You see, uh, that's a small calyx which we have entered. I shown on IVP. Uh, there is a small. Uh, now you see that. You see that infundulum there. So we are behind the infundulum, right? So well, it's a small calyx. So the moment I enter this posterior calyx, you see the stone. And we have seen on IVP anterior calyces. See, which we have seen, na? Medial to that I have seen, na? Medial to this calyx, this anterior calyx, I was searching for that calyx, and I found that I entered through that. Now you see the posterior calyces there. These two there. That's inferior calyx. Or you are bang on the stone, right? See? The stone is lying in front of you. That's a radio lucent stone. Now that that's it. Now you can see I am showing the same calyx which we have entered. 
you see the infundibular in front of it, right? And you say I am mid posterior, bang onto the fusion, right? So we have done uh, laser ablation using holmium. Uh, the laser fiber which was used was 600 micron fiber and at a frequency of 15 and uh, energy of 1.2 joule, we could finish the 2 centimeters for in just 20 minutes. See? After that, the rest of the gravel, there is a lot of gravel which I have cleared by the eddy currents and everything. Now, at the end of this thing, you can see how a mini PL offers more advantage when compared to RIR as in a patient with a large bulk stone, you know. And you see on table, you have nothing there. I can even go to the inferior calyx also. See, I am showing that. I can even go to the inferior calyx, straight to the fuge. I can see the mid anterior calyx. See, here. You see the papilla there. I can see that. And even I can go to the superior calyx if the system is favorable. Otherwise, no. Okay. So I am removing the ampullary. See? See the track. Floral back. Floral back. See, see the track. See the calyx. That nice, beautiful, small calyx. Huh? Understood? I am coming. See? That is the track. You see, there is no much bladder there. Right? I am coming out, coming out, coming out. That's the shortest track. You see the muscles there. And you see the subcutaneous plane. Mm -hmm. I am out of the skin. And muscles. Now, see here. So we are giving local anesthesia, you know, see that's the site, so that uh, the patient is pain free in the post-operative period. So this is just a simple step which will help for the patient, the patient lies comfortably down there in the recovery room, okay, that's it, done.